In this video, I'm going to show you some huge, and I mean huge, extensions that you can carry out to your home without needing planning consent. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kev. I'm an architectural designer and party wall surveyor with 25 years experience in the UK construction industry. In this channel, I'll help you understand everything you need to know when it comes to extending or converting your home. Okay, so as I said at the beginning of this video, there are some opportunities around that allow you to put big, I mean big extensions onto your properties without needing planning permission. Okay, so for those of you that subscribe to the channel, you've seen the video regarding the permitted development rights. If you've not seen that video, I'll include a link to it in the description below. Now in that video, we touch briefly upon the prior notification scheme, and that's what we're going to go into in this video. Now I know what you're wondering, how huge is huge? Well, let me tell you that if you live in a detached property, you can extend a whopping eight meters from the rear wall of your home. If you live in a terraced or a semi, that's six meters. So as you can tell, it's double what the original permitted development rules used to allow. So what is prior approval? Prior approval is a form of permitted development where the planning department would generally not have any involvement in the actual decision making. Instead, what they will do is they'll leave it to neighbours to reach an amicable agreement by themselves. Not only does this free up the planning department so the planning officers can concentrate on larger developments, it also puts more emphasis on the neighbours so they can get more involved in the actual planning decision making themselves. Okay, so how does prior approval differ from permitted development? Well, the main one, as the name suggests, is that you need prior approval from your neighbours before you carry out any work. Well, this means that you have to submit the forms into the council and they have to give your neighbours notice before any work is carried out. Unfortunately, if you've already started digging your foot in or you're halfway up the build, then prior approval is not an application that you can use. So let's run through how the process actually works. First of all, you need to fill out a form, submit it into planning together with a set of drawings detailing what it is you're looking to do. Your local authority will then write to your neighbours and give them 42 days in which to object to your proposals. After the 42 days has passed and provided that none of your neighbours have objected, in bingo, you can pass straight on to the building control stage and crack on with the build. But let's assume that 42 days have passed and Mr Smith next door has objected. Unfortunately, in this circumstance, it's deemed that prior approval is required and your only options available then will be to apply to planning consent for the larger build or revert back to the standard permitted development rights of 4 metres or 3 metres respectively. Okay, so let's just discuss the prior approval in general. I'd say the applications for prior approval are around 6 to 1 when compared to say a loft conversion or a garage conversion. There are so, so many people taking advantage of this new rule. The thing with prior approval is that you don't have to extend out the full 6 or 8 metres to make use of it. A modest way of making use of it, and one that's very popular at the moment, is to extend just beyond the original permitted development rights. So for instance, say you lived in a semi-detached house and your existing permitted development rights allow you to go out 3 metres. A cavity wall is 300mm thick, so therefore that gives you an internal floor space of just 2.7 metres. So what a lot of people are doing is they're, apply they're using the prior notification to apply for a 3.3 metre deep extension. That then gives them an internal floor space of 3 metres. This very modest increase puts very little on the actual build costs but can be a huge benefit to the final floor area that you're actually generating in your home. So to conclude this video, the prior approval scheme is an excellent tool for extending your home. It allows you to put huge, huge extensions on the backs of your homes without going through the rigmarole of, uh, of full planning consent. However, it does put a lot of emphasis on your neighbours and any objections from your neighbours can, can kill your project at that stage. You just have to go for planning or go back. So it's always worth having a chat with your neighbours first of all. Perhaps pop around, have a bottle of wine, butter them up a little bit, have a chat, tell them what it is you're looking to do. If you get the impression they're not likely to object, then great, prior approval's the one for you. If, however, you know, they're um in an hour and a bit, then, you know, you could take a chance with it, but just bear in mind that if they do object, you then have to go for planning for it, or you'd have to just stick with what the original permitted development rights used to allow. And there it is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.